floods, one of the harshest enemies of nature. Flood risk is a near universal threat. It occurs more or less all over the world, but the South and East Asia countries are affected the most. Bangladesh is one of them. Each year in Bangladesh, about 26,000 square kilometers are flooded, making 10 million people homeless. Floods are increasing day by day throughout the world because of rising global warming. Carbon dioxide emissions are one of the vital reasons behind that. The concrete industry is responsible for about 8% of carbon dioxide emissions worldwide. So what can we do? Can flooding be avoided? No. But we can minimize the loss. So we came up with our idea of a flood-resistant concrete modular house using modified autoclaved aerated concrete. Flood-resistant houses are made earlier, but this time why with modified AAC concrete? Because this concrete is lightweight, waterproof, have low thermal conductivity. Now if we outlook the concrete mix design of our modified AAC, we have used finer aggregate like gypsum, cement, which contains silica and alumina. Coal flash is a potential binder which can be incorporated into the concrete mix design in one of two ways. One, as partial replacement of cement for binding property. Two, as partial replacement of aggregate. Our concrete mix design will primarily focus on using coal fly ash in both aforementioned ways. Our second primary component in our modified autoclaved aerated concrete will be focused on rice husk ash. Bangladesh is in top fourth position for rice production as per statistic.com due to abundant production of rice in Bangladesh and similar countries, rice husk ash is a very suitable potential binder source to be used to modify the traditional concrete mix design. The outer covering of rice husk is actually not biodegradable. It might even exist in the environment for over 10 years which will be surely cause problems to the land and environment. The rice husk itself is a very light material which will definitely contribute towards attaining a lightweight concrete. RHA contains a large amount of silica which will be similar to the properties of other elements in our concrete mix design. Rice husk is a burned and pulverized to produce the rice husk ash. We will be using both fly ash and rice husk ash in two different sizes. The finer size of both fly ash and rice husk ash will be used for cement replacement for the binding property of the concrete. Reportedly, the finer size will be more reactive and it will help to produce secondary calcium silicate hydrate gel. Real size of cement particles has been reported to be within 50 micron. The size of fly ash is about 12 micron, whereas rice husk ash is available in 5 micron size and it is reported to produce good results. And the coarse size of both fly ash and rice husk ash will be utilized as a partial percentage of filler material separately. Optimum coarse size for both has been reported as 75 micron. Both rice husk ash and fly ash together will entirely replace the fine aggregate in our concrete mix design. The replacement of 30% cement by 22.5% fly ash and 7.5% rice husk ash will result in an environmentally friendly modified AAC. To make it waterproof, we have options to choose water repellents among powdered silane, zinc stearate, water dispersible zinc stearate and osmotic crystalline. Among those hydrophobic agents, we chose powdered silane as it is reported to increase the compressive strength of the AAC panel and also reduce the water absorption capacity by a considerable percentage. In large-scale industries, the silicon in the sand will react with the magnesium to form magnesium silicide. This magnesium silicide will then react with hydrochloric acid to form silane which is then powdered into suitable size for concrete mix design. Now let's have a look at our outcome using this innovative concrete mix design. The house will be made of using this modified AAC floor panels and wall panels. Panel is a distinct portion of wall or floor that is enclosed by a frame or border. Floor panels are tailor made, their length, thickness and reinforcement are determined based on the building requirements. On the other hand, the wall panel is user friendly as this system provides flexibility. It can be moved anywhere at any time as needed. It has excellent load carrying capacity and works like a traditional brick house. 
As the floor panel is lightweight, it is easily balanced by graded polyfiber containers to float the house in flood water. When the water level rises, the house will rise simultaneously with the water level and it will start to flow. ASC solid walls provide excellent resistance against lateral wind loads, so our flood resistant modular house can easily stand on heavy wind flow. We used a butterfly roof because it is resistant to strong winds and it will help to collect rainwater. For using it during floods, as pure water would be scarcely available at that time. The house will be tied to concrete pillars to stabilize and keep it in an exact place where it was before the water level arose. For that reason, the house would not move during the flood. The prime features of our modular house are, it's a precast house so there is no need of mortar plaster, it is eco-friendly, it is cost-effective and it provides multidimensional problem solving. Our idea is targeting SDG number 3, 6, 11, 12 and 13. These sustainable development goals are Goal 3 This ASC made house is ventilated from all corners Goal 6 Butterfly roof will help to harvest rainwater Goal 11 Community users will have access to adequate, safe and affordable housing Goal 12 Waste consumption Utilize huge amounts of industrial byproducts Goal 13 By keeping a contribution to produce less greenhouse gas in spite of many limitations and in the face of harsh natural disasters, we all want a better environment and a better life. It is difficult to lead a good life during a disaster, but we can reduce the losses and save people from becoming homeless by this innovative use of modified autoclift aerated concrete.